Dave with a new finger style lesson for you today. Um, today we're going to look at Amazing Grace, a uh, very simple arrangement, ideal if you're just starting to get into this sort of style of guitar playing. Right, um, the three chords that we're going to need for this are a G chord, so that's third fret on the first string E, second fret on the A, third fret on the sixth string E. So that gives us our G chord. The C chord is going to be first fret on the B, second on the D, third on the A string. And then finally a D7, that's second fret on the E, first on the B, second on the G. Okay, so they're the chord shapes. The basic pattern we're going to use is a six note pattern. And I'm just gonna show you the order that we're gonna pick them in first of all. It's gonna go thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, like so. Right, I'm gonna show you that with a G chord. The pattern is gonna go like this. You're gonna start with your thumb on the sixth string. Your other three fingers are gonna be on the first three strings. So that's your ring finger on the first string E, middle finger on the B string, and your index finger on the G string. And those are gonna stay on those strings for all the chords. Okay, so the G pattern. Like that, so it's just going thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, like that. For the C chord, you just bring the thumb over to the fifth string. Like so. And then for the D7 chord, your thumb moves over to the fourth string. Like so. Okay, so that's how we approach each of the chords. Um, now I'm just gonna demonstrate it in four bar chunks. So the first four bars, you play two patterns on the G, one on the C, and then one on the G. It's going to sound like this. So that's the first four bars. The next four bars, you're going to play two on the G and two on the D7. Okay, so that's the next four. The next four bars are going to be the same as the first four. So two on the G, two on the C, one on the G. There you go. Then the last four bars, we're going to play one on the G, one on the D7, one complete pattern on the G, and then to finish off, I'm just going to play the sixth string while holding down the G chord. It makes sense once I play it. Like so. So that's all the main parts to the song. I'll put a little chord um, chart in the description box below uh, so that you can see it a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, other than that, one thing I'll mention is that the song is in three, four, three beats to the bar. Um, and this particular pattern will work over any song that you're playing that has a three, four time signature. So uh, feel free to adapt it to other chords that you know and uh, have some fun with it. Okay guys, I will see you real soon.